I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of business operations to operate and all that. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's me... You look a bit different than I remembered. Did you go to Enhance? No. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway. Ah, they wouldn't say how you did on your application, but they did say no one else was available. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Well enough, chit-chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. Hm. Yeah. I'm s I'd love to chat more, but I'm expecting a message any minute from the Trade Authority. You know how it is with these big businesses, am I right? Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well... Lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? Interesting. It appears Governor Hurst is well aware of our exploits. If by exploits, you mean what your friend is doing for Sidonia, and not your work for Constellation, Ms. Morgan, you're right on the money. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Wait, you in the account? 
things for you. picked up something you might be interested in. Sure hope you've taken care of our little uh, problem. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? that we helped this imbecile worm his way out of the situation makes me sick. Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note and we're thinking of using it against me. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of goods. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Do we have an understanding? You know, you're supposed to destroy the ship, not board it. And even though I don't take kindly to blackmail, you're making the right move by agreeing to keep this matter under wraps. The way I figure, no one will believe you without proof anyway now. So this exchange, we'll see to it the real story stays between us. Now take Brennan's package and your compensation and get out of my damn sight. Why would we keep getting so many applicants? My shipment, do you have it yet?
Ah, yes. I'll take that. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I, uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Have a good one.